Minnesota Vikings used to leave their facility, come all the way down here an hour and a half south to Mankato, Minnesota, and have a three week training camp here. In just one of the ways that the NFL has changed, they pulled out of here in 2017 after they built a new training facility in Egan, which allowed them to sell tickets and print a lot more money out there. But for a long time, residents of Mankato, like myself, looked forward with anticipation to when the Vikings would arrive. 60,000 visitors would come every year is the Vikings would spread across these practice fields here. They'd have exhibition games here at Blakesley Field, which I think everyone in Mankato knows is not the greatest field in the world. The stadium was built in 1962 and is badly in need of a bit of renovation. But the Vikings persevered. You see, the NFL used to be a little bit more like old school baseball, where you had the league with the teams that were connected, not just to their city, but to the whole state and community. And their community outreach was bringing players down here. When the players were down here. They stayed on campus in college dorms. Can you imagine NFL players nowadays staying in college dorms? Gage Towers, the Mankato skyscrapers, used to be just over there. They've since been torn down. And it was just a big deal. I, I know like, it, it, you just felt it in the city when the Vikings were here. They now do their practice, and now it's all discussions about whether the players should or should not be attending practice. But it used to be a much different thing when we all run out to get our autographs from Vikings players. It's something that I really appreciate about my childhood.